So we begin Ukraine taking on Italy. It is the 2023. Lavrendi, all dealt with by Bielimov, but the shot is going to come back in. Bumped with a little act last week and won it 5-4. Now, what a great opportunity here on the break. It must be. Oh, it's put wide. Maxim Malinovsky convinced that he was pushed. City, another one surely. Just couldn't quite fashion. One back well. Yelishev just behind Sitsarenko. Yelishev, goalkeeper's there. Oh, Yagubian with a, such an important save. And then chance for Gianluca Salvetti. Yelishev, chance. Oh, it's put wide. Vladislav Kachenko, and that's now three tremendous opportunities for Ukraine. Snitsarenko with a little back. Oh, and yet a high quality ball has still been produced, and nearly somehow Snitsarenko put it in. It seemed as though Ukraine were absolutely caught in their own defensive area. Over the top from Banaba Bui. Those can be very difficult shots for goalkeepers with the opportunities for Ukraine to get the opening goal. Can they get another? They did create a fourth fine chance. Dimitro Fedik putting it wide from... Those controlled challenges working well and Italy have got the breakthrough on the counter-attack. It all started from winning the ball back with such good control, sliding in, sending it to Ficara, and Ficara beats Bielimov, it's Ukraine nil, Italy won. And after a passage of play where Ukraine have had so many opportunities, they just couldn't quite convert them and Italy punish. But it started with Schettino's excellent challenge to win the ball back. Gabriele Ficara with a wonderful finish, and that is now Almost, Ficara again, the angle was too tight for any realistic expectation of him finishing. But it was excellent from Perazzetta to... Ceccarelli, excellent ball from Ceccarelli, oh good goalkeeping from Ivan Bielimov. Perazzetta didn't seem to quite be able to cleanly get the shot. Igor Pelitsky comfortably seen wide by Yagubian. Schettino just thumps it across goal, hoping for a touch on. Yagubian. Oh, and then a little touch on from Gianluca Salvetti. Trying to catch out Ivan Bielimov. This one going to come here. It might do. It was Vladislav Kachenko. We that's in. Tommaso Grosso, the player closest to it. Did he get the last touch or not? Only he knows. But it was a quality ball from Barnaba Bui. Maybe, just maybe, Ukraine were not alert enough defensively there. It's Ukraine nil, Italy two. Hard to see if that is Grosso or if it's Igor Pelets. And they keep the pressure going. Uh, it was rather scuffed by Maxim Malinovsky. And once more, he's played very well. The game continues. It's a great opportunity put in. Skipchik. Setting up Maxim Malinovsky. His fifth competitive goal for Ukraine. The player who made it safe in qualification scored the goal that beat the Serbians. Now he's got the goal that gives them hope in the first match of the tournament proper. Ukraine won, Italy two. It's a lovely finish for Maxim Malinovsky. And he was at the heart of winning it back. It's 
space. Must be, surely. Oh, he's put it into the side netting. Giulio Perazzetta. Oh, my. Combining with Gianluca Salvetti, did everything right apart from the last simplest of manoeuvres. Well, let us be kind to Perazzetta and say that Ivan Bielimov perhaps cut the angle down as best he could. Maybe that small Dimitro Skipchik. The header was a little on the loose side, as was the shot though from Francesco Vecchio. Fascinating things about futsal, or oh, we'll come back to that because this could be fascinating off the crossbar. Ilya Priodko nearly scoring an extraordinary goal. Now a chance for them to counter. The game will naturally become more stretched. What an opportunity. Didn't quite get the pace on the pass. And as a result, the attack rather disintegrates. Creating opportunities. And this is another one that must be put in. No! Once again, Ilya Priorko. Here's a little space for Skipchik straight at the goalkeeper whose hands are secure and it's just about cleared. Malinovsky is the fly goalkeeper. There's the space at the back. Fedic, five seconds, they're going to have to now. And the time looks like it's just run out for Ukraine. Italy with a great defensive effort to hold on and win that game. Ukraine so close, considering they lost 7-2 to Italy in June. This has been a much improved performance from the semi-finalists from last year. But Italy, who went out in the group stage in last year's competition, have begun impressively with a very hard fought for win against Ukraine. A desperately disappointed Ukraine.